Hello, I'm Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb. In my role as Lieutenant Governor, I have focused on what's positive when I sell Oklahoma and recruit businesses to our state and work on economic development. One of the greatest and most positive events we have in Oklahoma is Next Gen Under 30. Since 2011, over 3,000 have been nominated, over 500 recognized as the next leaders and present day leaders in the great state of Oklahoma. This program you're about to watch is significant. Significant because Next Gen Under 30 recognizes the best and brightest in Oklahoma, and these men and women will define our renaissance. Watch, enjoy, and be impressed. Presenting the seventh annual Next Gen Under 30 Awards Ceremony, held at the Embassy Suites Convention Center in Norman, Oklahoma, on October 20th, 2017. Production made possible by the Chickasaw Nation, Legal Shield, Hobby Lobby, Jones PR, Express Employment Professionals, First Liberty Bank, and by Keep Oklahoma Beautiful. Good evening, everyone. It's really good to have you with us here tonight. And we're here tonight to celebrate the accomplishments of the seventh class of Next Gen Under 30 Oklahoma Leaders. And now please join in as we are led in the singing of our national anthem by Olivia Kay, who recently performed on the hit television show, The Voice. Oh, say can you see So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so Ms. Olivia Kay, thank you. Tonight's invocation will be presented by Reverend Paul Kerbis, pastor of the Westminster Presbyterian Church. Would you please now join me as I offer a word of prayer. Creator God, when we look at the world that you have created with all of its stunning beauty, we can see that you highly value innovation and creativity and inspiration. And we gather together this evening to recognize some outstanding young people who exemplify all these traits in their life and their work. We give you thanks for this opportunity to honor them and pray that you will bless our time together, bless our food and our fellowship, bless our program and our presenters, and most of all, bless our honorees and help them to know what a blessing they are to all of the communities that they represent. For we pray these things in your name. Amen. Here to bring greetings on behalf of the Next Gen Oklahoma Ambassadors are two young women from Ada who were part of the founding retreat that launched Next Gen into a statewide effort. Jaylee Thompson of Vision Bank 
and the chair of the Ada Young Professionals, and Joy Moon of the Chickasaw Nation, and also a board member of the Ada Young Professionals. Let's welcome them to the stage. It's our pleasure to welcome you to the second statewide recognition of next-gen under 30 honorees. What a wonderful way of showcasing the amazing amount of talent and energy we have right here in Oklahoma to shape the kind of state everyone will want to call home. You might ask yourself, well, just who are we recognizing tonight? They're individuals who are already impacting their communities and workplaces by being the kind of go-to person who takes action to make things better. We feel a sense of empowerment. This empowerment is the creative energy that comes from within us to take the kind of action that will make our communities, our workplaces, and our families more prosperous, more productive, and more stable. A familiar face to Next Gen Under 30 ceremonies is Chancellor Glenn D. Johnson of the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. He has impressive credentials and has been an impressive and important leader in the state of Oklahoma. It's my honor, my distinct honor, to present Chancellor Glenn D. Johnson of the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. And good evening. I want to tell our honorees this evening, I was first elected to the Oklahoma House of Representatives when I was under 30, 28 years of age to be exact. Let me talk to you tonight about the Next Gen Under 30 Award. It's about honoring young professionals who have very early in their professional careers proven to be innovative, creative, inspiring leaders in their disciplines and in their communities. I think this is an important award. In the past, our state has largely recognized achievement by those individuals who have achieved merit towards the end of their career. But tonight, we're honoring individuals who have proven themselves as leaders among their peers and in the business community while still in the very early stages of their career. We should all be very proud to be part of this significant event which gives credit and recognition to those who will take the positive momentum of our state into the future with enthusiasm, with commitment, and with very focused leadership. I hope everybody here is very excited and agrees with me that we're very confident in Oklahoma that our state is in great hands because of the young leadership that's in this room tonight. It's now a distinct pleasure of mine to introduce our keynote speaker, Governor Frank Keating, a good friend of mine. The governor received his undergraduate degree from Georgetown University, his law degree from the University of Oklahoma. Following graduation, he began a 33-year career in law enforcement and public service by serving as an FBI agent, U.S. attorney, a state prosecutor, a member of both the Oklahoma House of Representatives and the Oklahoma State Senate. He has served under both President Ronald Reagan and President George H.W. Bush in the Treasury, Justice, and Housing and Urban Development Departments as Assistant Secretary of Treasury, as an Assistant Attorney General, and as General Counsel and Acting Deputy Secretary for Housing and Urban Development. In 1993, Governor Keating returned to Oklahoma to run for governor. He won a three-way race in 1994 and was easily reelected in 1998, becoming only the second governor in the history of our state to serve two consecutive terms. As governor, he won the hearts and acclaim both nationally and internationally, not only of all Oklahomans, but everyone who came in contact with him for his very compassionate and professional handling of the darkest day in Oklahoma history. April 19, 1995, the day of the bombing of the Alfred Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Please join me in welcoming Governor Frank Keating. Some years ago, I did a children's book about a very special Native American leader here in Oklahoma. In our history, <clears throat> the chief of the punk is known as Standing Bear. If you remember, Custer's command was destroyed at Little Bighorn in 1876. Three years later, Standing Bear, the case of the United States of America versus Standing Bear, uh, was filed in a federal court uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. 
the purpose of that lawsuit brought by four courageous white men, including General George Crook, who was Custer's boss at Little Bighorn, was to say that these Native Americans, the Poncas in particular, are human beings entitled to protection under the Constitution. Well, the case was successful. It's not very well known in this country, but I wrote a book, a children's book about Standing Bear. I think it's so important in the history of Oklahoma and in the history of Native American rights, the first civil rights case involving Native Americans. Later, I was invited by the Gettysburg Foundation to come to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and to tell everybody about Standing Bear. So I did. I walked in front of this group, the trustees and visitors and friends and the like, and I told the story of this very courageous, this very uh, magnificent Native American leader. When I finished, you know, all of us who've had the honor of giving talks, invariably some people will come up and say, hey, this is a good job, even though they don't think it was necessarily a good job. But anyway, I'm standing around and there was a gentleman standing three or four feet from me and when everybody else had started to leave, I leaned over and I said, sir, I'm Frank Keating, thank you very much for being here. And he said, I'm Jim McPherson. And I said, Dr. James McPherson from Princeton, the greatest living Civil War scholar, the author of The Battle Cry of Freedom, and he smiled and he said, yes. And I said, doctor, why aren't you up here? I should be in the audience, you should be up here talking, sharing, delivering. I feel exactly the same way tonight. We are honoring the best and the brightest in the state. Young men and women who have shown themselves to be selfless in advancing the interest of their education, selfless in advancing the interest of the best that they can be and bringing us together as a people to honor excellence, fortitude, superb behavior, all of the above. These are the young men and women who are doing it in every walk of life, whether it's athletics or financial services or education, whatever it may be. What is the message? I remember as I was governor, and Glenn put up with me for eight years, but when I was governor, I would give the state of the state message without a written text. And for those of you young men and women who are thinking about going to Texas, don't because we're gonna to continue to beat them in football and we're gonna handle them in economic development soon enough. But in any event, um, I would never have a written text, but I would have charts and graphs. I remember one, one day I had a photograph of North Texas where all the lights were, satellite photo, and a photograph of Southern Oklahoma and it was dark. That's not the way it is today, but that's the way it was then when I was governor. And I said to the members of the legislature of both parties, I said, remember, look at this, same language, same culture, same society, same topography, same dust, same people. What's the difference? Light, like in South Korea, darkness in North Korea. We're dark, they're light. What is it? It's government. So with Glenn Johnson and Stratton Taylor, two Democrats, I was a Republican, we sat down and examined what OU and OSU said to us, their economics departments, why were we poor? We were 45th in per capita income. And their analysis, something that both Glenn and Stratton and I worked on throughout the remainder of my service, resulted in the completion of all the turnpikes, connecting every town of 10,000 and more to a four-lane highway, to the passage of right to work as Glenn indicated in the Constitution, tort reform, the biggest raise at the time for teachers, highway patrol troopers, got rid of welfare, all of the issues, virtual education, look at Epic Charter School, all of those things were done during that brief period of time in a bipartisan way. Now, why do I share that story? Because that's the obligation of citizenship to put aside your partisan views, ladies and gentlemen, and say, look, I'm here for the purpose on a temporary basis of serving the public in Oklahoma to make us rich, to make us better. And we need these young men and women not only to be hugely successful in business or academics or whatever it is, family, obviously most important, but to give back like my granddad who was a Democrat who ran for Congress in the 30s during the Depression, served one term, did everything he thought was important as a banker to do something to save community banks, went back to his bank, went back to his town, saved his bank and saved his town. But that is the obligation of citizenship. 
That is the commitment for all of you here tonight, not only to do well in business, to do well in your academic pursuits, to do well, obviously, most importantly, with your family, to see the world, to read deeply, but also to understand society will not be better if the vacuum is filled by somebody other than you. And I'm so proud of you, I know all of us would agree, so proud of you to celebrate tonight what you've achieved. We just hope to see you in the future in public life and in private life, advancing the interests of our glorious, wonderful state. Thank you all very much and congratulations. The first group of categories includes the K-12 education, arts, adult and higher education, and science, engineering, and technology. It's my pleasure now to present the next gen under 30 honorees from the arts category. I'm Victor Acosta. I'm a graphic designer for El Nacional Inspector. Hi, I'm Jennifer Boyd, and I'm the assistant director at 108 Contemporary in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Gabriel Cannon, and I'm the nutrition marketing and outreach coordinator for the Chickasaw Nation. My name is Laura Cunningham, and I'm OK City Card Coordinator and Development Assistant for Allied Arts. Hi, I'm Courtney Dawson, Executive Assistant at OKC Broadway. Trey Delonis, Graphic Designer for the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Hi, I'm JC Gentry, and I'm the Senior Events Manager at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Hi, I'm Zach Oslin. I'm a Research and Development Assistant at Allied Arts. Hi, I'm Kara Lee Hurst. I'm the Marketer and Registrar at JRB Art of the Elms. I am Angelica Pereira, Violinist for the Oklahoma City Philharmonic. Hello, I'm Kelly Reynolds. I'm an Assistant Curator for the Chickasaw Nation. Hi, I'm Emily Smart. I'm the Graphic Designer and Development Assistant at the Firehouse Art Center in Norman. Hi, I'm Danielle Adams. I'm a first grade educator at Caston School. Hi, I'm Joshua Bullock. I'm a college advisor for the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Hi, I'm Carl Francel, and I'm the president and owner at Olympia Prep. Hi, my name is Katie Hamilton, and I am the Education and Cultural Enhancement Senior Manager for the Chickasaw Nation. Hi, my name is Samantha Copes, and I'm the Director of Counseling at Heritage Hall. Hi, I'm Michaela Plett, and I am an educator and a coach at Seminole Public Schools. Hi, my name is Ray Ross, and I'm a first grade reading specialist at Jinx Public Schools. I'm Channing Cycle, a senior college advisor with the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Hi, my name is Steven Stefanik. I'm the 11th and 12th grade assistant principal, as well as a student council advisor at Harding Charter Prep High School in Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Anissa Angier. I'm the STEM instructional facilitator for K-12 in Edmond Public Schools. I'm Dylan Sullivan. I'm the Dean of Academics at Heritage Hall. Hello, my name is Natalie Barillas. I'm a transcript coordinator at Mid-America Christian University. Hi, my name is Matthew Cancio. I'm an assistant director and Latino student life advisor at the University of Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Nicole Doherty. I'm the coordinator for student engagement at the University of Central Oklahoma. Hi, I am Terry Link. I am the director of student life at Langston University. Hi, my name is Alyssa Loveless, and I'm the Director of Residence Life at Rose State College. Hi, I'm Frances Mooney, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Specialist for the Human Resources Office at OU Health Science Center. My name is Marina Rodriguez. I am the Early College Awareness Program Specialist from Oklahoma City Community College. I'm Lauren Sickles, and I'm an e-learning instructional designer at Paycom. Hi, I'm Jonathan Solomon. I'm the Assistant Dean of Students at Oklahoma Baptist University. Hi, 
I'm Courtney Tisdale, Industrial Coordinator with Metro Technology Centers. Hello, I'm Rance Trailer, Dean of Students and Title IX Coordinator at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. Hello, I'm Jared Sissom, Manager of International Programming at the University of Central Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Tanner Boswell. I'm a project coordinator at We Go Look. Hi, I'm Colby Claiborne, and I'm with Collegiate Talent Acquisition at Paycom. Hi, I'm Kayla Coffey, field marketing representative with Presidio. I'm Lanny Gunderson. I'm the vice president of pre-construction for Timberlake Construction. My name's Nathan Hawkins. I'm a web developer at Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Tyler Holmes. Pre-Construction Estimator at GE Johnson Construction Company. Hi, my name is Courtney Radke. I'm a manager of cybersecurity at Sonic America's Drive-In. Hi, I am Ryan Smith, Vice President of Customer Success at Computer RX. Hi, I'm Jaden Souther. I'm a National Talent Acquisition Specialist with Paycom. Hi, I'm Christy Spomer. I'm a Marketing Coordinator for Manhattan Construction. Hi, I'm Sean Thomas, Division Manager for Engineering Recruitment at Express Employment Professionals. Ambra Pastori, a Bioinformatics Analyst at OMRF. Our next presenter, Garrett Johnson, is an example of the new energy infusing the Next Gen Oklahoma Leaders Movement. Garrett is a Client Service Manager at Heritage Trust Company and an entrepreneur as owner of Smooth Draw Cigars. He is the chair of the Oklahoma City Young Professionals and he is a Next Gen Ambassador. Please welcome Garrett Johnson. Next Gen Under 30 first came on the scene in 2011. Until tonight, seven years later, none of this would be possible without the generous and dedicated sponsors. To us, when an organization or business provides either financial or in-kind support, they're saying they believe in the mission of Next Gen Oklahoma Leaders and the Next Gen Under 30. To each of you who have gone above and beyond the price of a ticket to lend an extra financial support, we say a heartfelt Thank you. Thank you, Bob Funk and Express Employment Professionals for being a substantial underwriter and sponsor. Thank you, American Fidelity Foundation, for joining the underwriter ranks this year. Thank you to Jones PR, who is always there with the support. Next Gen Oklahoma leaders are positioned to support local leadership and development efforts across the state. Thank you. Since its first year in 2011, Next Gen Under 30 has showcased many exceptional leaders. Erica Gray was one of them in the 2013 class. Erica is a branch manager for Addison Group, which is a specialized recruitment firm that focuses in the areas of finance, accounting, information technology, and human resources. Erica will present the next group of honorees. Please welcome Erica Gray to the stage. This next group of next gen under 30 honorees represents the energy and transportation, finance, and hospitality categories. The energy sector employs roughly 20% of all working Oklahomans, either directly or indirectly and Oklahoma is a transportation and distribution crossroads for the United States. The financial services sector is highly visible with its many banking and credit union retail locations. Finance directly touches every aspect of personal and corporate life. The hospitality industry is ever present with Oklahoma's many outdoor and indoor playgrounds and attractions. The energy and transportation category includes any role in energy, including exploration, 
generation, analysis, processing, or delivery organization. It also includes the renewable energy sector, plus anyone who works in any category in the transportation industry. It's my pleasure to present this year's Next Gen Under 30 honorees in the energy and transportation industry. Chance Bland, a regulatory professional for Devon Energy Production Company, LP. Sarah Gross, Manager of Financial Accounting and Reporting for Continental Resources. I'm Josh Jarrett. I'm a regulatory tax accountant at Devon Energy. Hi, I'm Grayson Niemeyer, and I'm a drilling engineer at Continental Resources. Hi, I'm Ramsey Payne, and I'm in gas scheduling with Clearwater Enterprises. My name's Bailey Spear, and I'm the business analyst at Devon Energy. Ricky Vick, acquisitions manager for Echo Energy. Hi, I'm Becca Sullivan. I'm an EHS associate at Devon Energy. Here are your 2017 Next Gen Under 30 honorees in the finance category. Gentry Anderson, in business development for the Stan Johnson Company. Hi, my name is Jayton Carey, and I'm a sales trainer for Heartland Payment Systems. Hi, my name is Logan Collins. I'm a credit specialist with Bank of Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Rachel Colvin. I'm a mortgage loan officer with Cornerstone Home Lending. Hi, I'm Madeline Dobson. I'm assistant vice president and the Bank Secrecy Act officer for Citizens Bank of Edmond. Hi, I'm Sierra Eberly. I'm a branch sales manager for Arvis Bank. My name is Morgan Gould. I'm a small business management coordinator at Great Plains Technology Center in Lawton. Hi, I'm Lady Hobson. I'm a mortgage compliance associate at First Liberty Bank. Hi, I'm Taylor Hutto. I am a relationship banker at Bank of America. Hi, my name is Brett James. I'm a financial advisor at Edward Jones. Hi, I'm Matt Longacre. I'm an account executive at Jordan Gray and Associates. Hi, I'm Meredith Massey, senior accountant at Kimray. Hi, I'm Jamie Ortiz. I'm a commercial credit analyst at Arvis Bank. Hi, my name is Megan Plant. I'm an underwriter at Plyco. Hi, I'm Deborah Ripley. I am the internal audit project manager for the Chicksaw Nation. Ryan Russ, I'm an agent owner for State Farm Insurance. Hello, my name is Jacob Williams. I'm a mortgage loan consultant for First United Bank. I am Richard Young, and I am a credit analyst at Arvis Bank. It's my pleasure to introduce the honorees in the hospitality industry. Hi, I'm Jillian Bishop. I'm the accounting and education manager for the Oklahoma Restaurant Association. Hi, I'm Rochelle Chibity, owner of Goodness Coffee Shop. My name is Emily Conrad. I'm a supply chain analyst for Sonic America's Drive-In. Hi, I'm Ashley Daniel, and I'm the director of advertising production at Sonic America's Drive-In. I'm Ricardo Lopez, and I'm the owner of Mamarita's Mexican Kitchen. Hi, I'm Erin McDaniel, director of tourism for Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Jessica Pontius, Director of Total Rewards for Sonic, America's Drive-In. David Lewis says, the best way to predict the future is to create it. That's why his message is so appropriate for this room tonight. David was named one of the 100 most influential people in the North American staffing industry in 2013 and is a two-time 40 Under 40 recipient. David is rewriting the rulebook for career and corporate success. His best-selling book, The Emerging Leader, Eight Lessons for Life in Leadership, is now in its second edition. David is Vice President of Fra uh, Franchising at Express Employment Professionals, a next-gen under 30 underwriter. Money Magazine called him a high achiever who is on the fast track. Tonight, he is here to share his enthusiasm for Oklahoma's young leaders. Please welcome David Lewis. 
Good evening. So Proverbs tells us that as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another, and that's what makes tonight pretty cool. We're here, we make each other better, we make each other sharper, and I also find myself full of optimism for the future of our state, so thank you for all that you've done. And as far as I'm concerned, each of you is now in the club. Governor Keating mentioned that. And that club to me is the now and future leaders of our state. And I'm here to tell you that your influence is already being felt. And I know after tonight, that influence is just gonna grow. First, Oklahoma really is a special place that I think sometimes we can take for granted. There's a number of reasons for that, but one in particular, and that's that either through good fortune or good decisions, you found yourself in a community of business leaders that are the most open and accessible of any community in America. This is the town where you can pick up the phone and call up a business leader that you admire and ask him to coffee. Not only will you get them on the phone, but they'll probably say yes. And, you know, I count for my own sake a, a mentor of mine, a, a guy that challenges me and teaches me the importance of loyalty and lives by his principles. And my hope is that each one of you would make an intentional effort to find a mentor that you admire as much as I admire a guy I work for, Bob Funk. So don't overlook an opportunity that Oklahoma provides each one of us, which is your last name really doesn't matter. You can build connections with anyone in this city, anyone in this state that you admire. And I'll leave you with this. The people are hungry for leaders of character and of candor and of caring. And after meeting so many of you tonight, I'm convinced that you are those leaders that the people are hungry for. Thank you for all that you've done for the state. Thank you in advance for everything you're gonna do. Congratulations again. Have a wonderful evening. Jason Shepard is branch manager of the Bank First Downtown Oklahoma City location. He is also a 2016 Next Gen Under 30 honoree and a member of the Next Gen Ambassadors. He is here to present the next group of Next Gen Under 30 honorees for 2017. Please welcome a go-to guy, Jason Shepard. Thank you. I began my banking career back in 2007 which some of you might know that that kind of led up to one of the worst financial you know, downturns and everything in our history. And yet in those early years, I found myself with a profound sense of duty to the banking industry of how it's tied to the communities it serves. My core values actually stem from Northwest Oklahoma back in Woodward, where I learned to treat everybody with dignity and respect. I'm honored to work for an organization with those very such values. Bank First is truly loyal to you and loyal to Oklahoma. Throughout my career, I've been very fortunate to work with all types of people who are shakers and movers in our communities. No matter who I encounter, the same rules apply. Treat everyone as their name and not as a number. Banking has opened my eyes to many scopes of different industries, that supports a prosperous state and its citizens. The next group of honorees represent industry, agriculture, law, and healthcare. The categories take us from the field, the shop floor, the manufacturers across the state, the board, courtrooms, emergency rooms, and operating rooms, plus all the employees in which it supports. Our next gen under 30 honorees who work in manufacturing, industry, and the trades of agriculture and produce many of the products we use every day. They make the clothes we wear, the cars we drive, the homes we live in, the businesses in which we work, and then devices which we text and call on every day. They harvest, they grow, they produce the different foods we eat. We simply can't live without them. Here are the next gen under 30 honorees for manufacturing industry, trades, and agriculture category. Hi, my name is Arda Bullock. I am a business development associate and project manager at IMAX Corporation in Tulsa. Hi, I'm David Carell. I'm the greenhouse supervisor at the Chickasaw Nation. 
Hi, I'm Caitlin Dodds, and I'm a senior graphic designer at Choctaw Print Services. Hi, I'm Nicole Majors, Human Resources Manager for Supply One. Hi, I'm Aislinn Peralta, Director of Product Development at Beacon Homes. Nathan Stepp, a senior agriculturalist at Oklahoma State University. It's my pleasure to present the next gen under 30 honorees representing the law in this category. Stuart Ashworth, an associate attorney for Holden and Carr. Hi, James Biscone, attorney at law at Johnson and Biscone in Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Travis Brown. I'm an associate attorney and office manager at Edinger, Leonard, and Blakely. Hi, my name is Jerrica Cummings. I'm an attorney at Paycom. Hi, I'm Alyssa Grooms. I'm an associate intellectual property attorney at Dunlap Cotting. Hi, I'm Bria Hamlin, and I'm an attorney at Atkins and Markov. Morgan Lyon, probate specialist for the Citizen Potawatomi Nation. Hi, my name is Tiliana McCullough. I'm a staff attorney with Legal Aid Services of Oklahoma. Hi, my name's Madison Malone McLawhorn. I'm an assistant public defender at the Oklahoma County Public Defender's Office. Stacy Shavalich, attorney at Crowen Dunleavy PC. I'm Jordan Cartmel. I'm an associate attorney at Fulliart, Huff, Ottawa, and Bottom. I'm proud to present the next generation under 30 honorees in the healthcare category. Hi, my name is McKinley Barton, and I am an administrative officer at Cherokee Nation WW Hastings Hospital. I'm Lieutenant Commander Danica Brown of the United States Public Health Service. I'm a pharmacist at the Oklahoma City Indian Clinic. I'm Casey Butler. I'm an anesthesiology resident at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center. Hi, my name is Madison Carey and I'm a financial analyst for Cherokee Nation Businesses. My name is Bailey Cartwright and I am the Central Marketing Director for Faith Hospice. Hi, I'm Rebecca Cox, and I'm the owner and clinical director at Bright Eyes Family Services. Hi, I'm Keely Duncan. I'm the patient financial services director at Northeastern Health System in Tahlequah. Hi, I'm Christian Dunsworth. I'm a nurse at the Children's Hospital at OU Medical Center. Hello, my name's Anna Garcia. I am a nurse practitioner at Integris Medical Group. I'm Majid Garfay. I'm a doctor of internal medicine at Mercy Hospital in Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Lindsay Grell. I'm a speech language pathologist at OU Medical Center. Hi, I'm Kristen Helmstetter, Vision Territory Manager with Bausch & Lomb. Hi, my name is Amber Lane and I'm a medical social worker at Integris Baptist Hospital. Hi, my name is Manisha Patel, and I'm the owner of Tira Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Edmond. Hi, my name is Michelle Rodriguez, and I'm a social worker at St. Anthony's Hospital. Aaron Smith, Contract Manager for Pharmacy Providers of Oklahoma. Hello, my name is Angela Surrett, and I'm the Telehealth Support Specialist at Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences. Hi, I'm Tiffany Turner. I'm a speech pathologist and a board-certified swallowing specialist, and I own Swallowing and Neurological Rehabilitation in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It is my pleasure to introduce Stephanie Cameron. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here with you representing Tulsa and Typros. The mission of Tulsa's young professionals is to attract and retain young talent, develop the next generation of leaders, and enhance Tulsa's sense of place. We are 9,000 members strong. We aim to be an advocate and a voice for young talent. I want to congratulate all of the honorees tonight and encourage you to continue your commitment to our communities. This is our time to shape our state and to become leaders. We are so excited to be hosting the 2018 event and show off the incredible work that's happening in our city. And we hope to see all of you there. Thank you.
Thank you, Stephanie. We look forward to the Tulsa hospitality. The next group of next-gen under 30 honorees represent the sports, fitness, marketing, and advertising, and the media public relations categories. Coaches, players, physical therapists, facility managers, and others involved in the sports industry are eligible for the sports and fitness category. Here are this year's next-gen under 30 honorees. Hi, my name is Cecilia Granados. I am a fitness instructor and NutriBody Shaper. I'm Nick Kirk, a supervisor over personal trainers for the Cherokee Nation. My name is Billy Long. I am the lead youth athletic specialist with the Chickasaw Nation. Hi, I'm Nick Doherty, marketing coordinator for USA Softball. The marketing and advertising category represents those jobs that focus mostly on developing strategies and campaigns to sell products and services. The media and public relations category focuses on writing and reporting information and presenting it through a variety of channels, including broadcast, print, or internet. Here are the next-gen under 30 honorees representing the marketing and advertising category. Hi, I'm Grace Ablett. I'm a senior digital media strategist at VI Marketing and Branding. Hi, I'm Kristen Campbell, the senior digital marketing manager for Remarkable Brands. Hi, I'm Kate Cunningham. I'm an account supervisor at Saxon. Hi, I'm Leslie Denner, and I'm a marketing strategist at VI Marketing and Branding. I'm Matt Farley. I'm the vice president and director of marketing at Freestyle Creative. Hi, I'm Tyler Fredrickson. I'm the Multimedia Coordinator for Westminster Presbyterian Church. I'm Marissa Hooks, Email Marketing Manager at Atmex Inc. Jonathan Kelly, a partner at The Mile Agency. I'm Quentin Scott, the Digital Assets Manager for Legal Shield. Hi, I'm Blair Sims, Vice President of Client Services at StableGun. Hi. I am Andrew Tice, and I am the Executive Director for XR Entertainment. The media reports what is happening in our world. Public relations professionals help us put our best image forward. And now, it's my pleasure to present the 2017 Class of Next Gen Under 30 honorees from the Media Public Relations category. Hi, I'm Janelle Archer, and I'm a content marketing specialist at Big Wing. I'm David Dishman, account executive of corporate communications at Jones PR and editor of the Oklahoma 100. My name is Ryan Drake. I am a host and producer at the Spy FM. Hi, I'm Louis Elder. I'm a promotions assistant for Cumulus Media. Hi, I'm Chloe Gee. I'm an account coordinator at Bannon Associates PR and Marketing. Hello. My name is Joshua Hillard, and I'm the president of Culture Educators of Society. Hi, I'm Sarah Jones, and I'm a social media creative producer for the Chickasaw Nation. Hi, I'm Emma Copes, and I'm the editor of the Scout Guide, Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Tracy Lowe Miller. I'm an account executive of public relations at Cook Communications. My name is Bethany Marshall, and I'm the marketing coordinator for Timberlake Construction. Hi, I'm Lauren McAfee, Corporate Ambassador for Hobby Lobby Stores Incorporated. Hi, I'm Caitlin Merrill. I'm an Account Executive at Griffin Communications. My name is Taylor Owen. I'm a Communications Officer for the Chickasaw Nation. Hello, my name is Cindy Phillips. I'm an Assistant at RML Construction Services. Hi, I'm Stephanie Reamer. I'm a Graphic Designer for Cherokee Nation. Hi, I'm Ashley Ross, and I'm an account coordinator of consumer brands and digital marketing at Jones PR. My name is Hannah Royce. I'm a creative marketing entrepreneur, and I'm the founder and creative director of the Women's Empowerment Conference, Confidence Con. I'm Zach Walker, creative director at Jones PR. Hi, I'm Sarah Ward. I'm the marketing and communications coordinator for the College of Business at the University of Central Oklahoma. 
In 2011, Evan Vincent walked across the Next Gen Under 30 stage to be recognized for his quick start in his professional experience. Evan had already distinguished himself academically. He was an honor graduate in aerospace engineering at the University of Oklahoma. But that was not enough. In law school, he was a distinguished member of the Oklahoma Law Review. Evan is a director with the Crow and Dunleavy Law Firm in Oklahoma City, where he has already distinguished himself as a young attorney to watch. He is also making his first foray into the political arena as a candidate for state senate. And he is active on the board of directors of the Oklahoma Blood Institute. Tonight, he's here on our 2017 stage to challenge our honorees to go on to do greater things. I now present a member of the 2011 Next Gen Under 30 class, Evan Vincent. Thank you very much for uh, letting me speak to you tonight to share with you a quote that kind of exemplifies my thought as uh, to what leadership is. And it's uh, from a woman named Peggy Noonan, who used to be a speechwriter for President Reagan. She uh, wrote the helped him write the speech that he gave after the Challenger shuttle disaster. And uh, it, I read it one morning in, it was, she, it was part of an editorial she was doing in the Wall Street Journal, and it just jumped out at me. I thought, this is, th this is exactly, that's exactly right. I sat down and wrote it on uh, an index card, and I keep that index card on my desk, and I look at it from time to time just as a reminder. And so I'll read it to you now. But it's a great mistake when you are in a leadership position to want to be like everyone else because that actually is not your job. Your job is to be better and to set standards that those below you have to reach to meet. And you have to do this even when it's hard, even when you know you yourself don't quite meet the standards you represent. Well, all of the honorees tonight, all of the alumni of this, I believe we do represent those standards, and so I challenge you tonight, please live up to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whitley and Rania O'Connor saw a need while still in college and brought the idea of helping the homeless by giving them a job in the world of publishing and self-employment. They founded the Curbside Chronicle, a magazine produced and distributed by the homeless in Oklahoma City. Please welcome Whitley O'Connor. Solving our world's greatest challenges takes hard work, innovation, and cross-sector collaboration. It takes everyone. At the Curbside Chronicle, we are working to end homelessness one interaction at a time, and it is truly an honor and privilege to be here tonight, recognizing peers from across the state who are working hard to improve their own communities. The final three categories we're about to introduce represent sectors that make our world go around. The nonprofit sector is near and dear to my heart. These organizations provide a wide range of services to the community, ranging from education to housing to mental health, and everything in between. It is my pleasure to present the 2017 Next Gen Under 30 honorees and the nonprofit category. Hi, I'm Tony Allen, and I'm a marketing and PR manager at Allied Arts. Cody Beach, President of the Bristow Chamber of Commerce. I'm Claire Belden. I'm a youth development professional with the Boys and Girls Club of Oklahoma County. Hi, I'm Rachel Bimbrook. I'm the Constituent Relations Associate at Oklahoma State University Foundation. Hi, I'm Laura Beth Bro. I'm the coordinator of the Edmund Young Professional Group. I work at the Edmund Chamber of Commerce. Kathy Duck the Tulsa Regional Chamber and Executive Director of Tulsa Small Business Connection. Hi, my name is Natalie Evans. I am the Projects Coordinator for Keep Oklahoma Beautiful. Hi, I'm Andrew Gray, Marketing and Development Coordinator at Special Care. Charity Hitch, founder of Christmas Cheer for Children. Hi, I'm Richard Moore, the Director of Implementation at Water 4. Hi, I'm Madison Nash. I'm the Director of Honorary Relations at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Akash Patel, Executive Director at the World Experiences Foundation. Hi, I'm Haley Payne, 
I'm the CRA for Corporate and Foundation Relations at the Oklahoma State University Foundation. Hi, I'm Alyssa Peterson and I am Executive Director at Ubuntu Youth. Hi, I'm David Scott, Executive Director of the Anadarko Chamber of Commerce. Hi, I'm Rachel Tribble, Development Associate at the OSU Foundation. I'm Jose Vega, and I'm the Program Director for Oklahomans for Equality. Hi, I'm Bradley Ward, and I'm the Military Outreach and Education Liaison for Honoring America's Warriors. Hi, I'm Natalie Wood, Special Events Coordinator for the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma. Public service touches every part of our communities, from the federal government down to our municipal governments. The veins of public service are expansive, running through state agencies, public schools, county commissions, libraries, fire stations, and much more. Public servants touch every aspect of our lives. These are the honorees in the policy and public service categories. Hi, my name is Casey Bowes, and I'm the Director of Special Projects for the Oklahoma Fosters Initiative. Kate Brantley, a legislative analyst at the Oklahoma State Senate. I'm Scott Chance, and I'm the State Chairman of the Oklahoma Young Republicans. Hi, I'm Anna Farha. I'm the Coordinator of Volunteers at the Oklahoma Insurance Department. Hi, I'm Kate Greer, Associate Press Secretary for the Oklahoma House of Representatives. My name is Austin Marshall. I'm a legislative assistant to Charles McCall, the Speaker of the Oklahoma House of Representatives. Hi, I'm Annie Menz, Executive Assistant in the Oklahoma State Senate. I'm Charlotte Mitchell, Fundraising Events Coordinator for Oklahomans for Lamb 2018. Hi, I'm Jacob Ryan, Executive Aides, Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb. My name is Blake Whelan, and I'm a marketing coordinator for the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food, and Forestry. Joel Wilson, Customer Service Supervisor at the United States Postal Service. The Curbside Chronicle relies on advertising for support for our publication. Even though we're a nonprofit, we have many private sector champions we rely on, including many retailers. Our final category for tonight is the retail and e-commerce category, which recognizes individuals who sell products and services to others. Hi, my name is Olga Fulkner. I'm a marketing manager at 7-Eleven Stores, Oklahoma. Hi, my name is Amr Hassanji. I'm the founder and CEO of Paper Edit Pros in Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Emily Hines, and I'm a business development manager at Addison Group. Hi, I am Sarah Johnson, the branch manager at Express Employment Professionals. Hi, I'm Ryan Judd, and I am the senior recruiter for the Finance and Accounting Contract Division at Addison Group. Hi, I'm Lindsay Nance. I am a staffing consultant with Express Employment Professionals. Hi, I'm Samantha Payne. I'm the social media and project manager at Legal Shield. Hi, I'm Chelsea Ricks. I'm the owner of Chantilly Couture, the bridal boutique. Marcus Sams, an interior designer at Neely Design. I'm Jonathan Wilbanks, owner and chief navigator of Wilbanks Consulting Group. Congratulations. There you have it. That's 189 young Oklahomans who will lead this state into the future because of what they are doing today to make their communities and workplaces better places to live and work. Please welcome Brenda Jones, Barwick. First is Lauren Sickles. Lauren is an e-learning instructional designer in the Learning and Development Department of PACOM. She is a graduate of the University of Central Oklahoma, where she was a UCO Leader of Tomorrow four-year scholarship recipient. Lauren worked at Apple, where she had many opportunities to leave Oklahoma for what might have appeared to be greener pastures. 
She was offered a scholarship at Stanford University to pursue a master's degree, and she was offered many jobs within Apple in exotic locations. However, instead, she bought a house in Chandler, Oklahoma, and took a job at Paycom, and Lauren considers Oklahoma the land of opportunity and growth. Lauren, can you come up? The second Spirit Award goes to Akash Patel. Akash is the Executive Director of World Experiences Foundation in Norman, a nonprofit organization that he founded. His organization serves leaders of color and leaders with diverse experiences in public school classrooms, imparting anti-bias, multicultural, and multilingual education. He has traveled to over 30 countries. Congratulations, Akash, for being recognized as one of the recipients of this year's Spirit Award. One of the greatest contributions an individual can make to humanity is putting people to work, and that has been the mission in Bob Funk's life. He has ensured that his company is also equally a fine citizen, with each franchisee across the nation supporting its region with financial and volunteer contributions. I think it's also important to mention, in addition to his very extensive list of professional and community memberships and honors, Bob Funk also holds three honorary degrees. He is an exceptional individual who's made a big difference in Oklahoma. And to continue this introduction, let me present again, Governor Frank Keating. Well, my wife was not able to join us this evening, but she called from the airport and she said, remember to remind people that Bob Funk is the new alliteration of St. Nicholas. There is nothing good that doesn't happen without Bob in this community and frequently in this state. We have the Founders Award to present to him as a thank you for all he does for so many people, hiring people by the hundreds of thousands to make them a part of the American dream. Bob Funk, please step forward. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for supporting your honorees, and thank you for being part of the Next Gen Under 30 program. Find out more about nominating for 2018 at nextgenunder30.com. Production made possible by the Chickasaw Nation, Legal Shield, Hobby Lobby, Jones PR, Express Employment Professionals, First Liberty Bank, and by Keep Oklahoma Beautiful. <laughs>